and welcome to Good Game Spawn Point, the show for gamers by gamers. I'm Barjo. And I'm Hex. And I am Darren. Coming up on the show, it's a bit of a platforming masterclass with two games that do some very different but equally amazing things with the genre. Yes, first up we have the papercraft magic of Tearaway Unfolded. <laughs> Then we'll let our creativity shine in Super Mario Maker. Oh, I hope you're ready, Hex, because I've been building a super tough level for you to play. Oh, bring it on, Barjo. I bet it's not half as hard as the one that I've been building for you. <laughs> Excellent. I always like to see some friendly competition. Uh, now, power up those thought processes, Spawnlings, because it's time for Darren's Challenge! <laughs> Today, I'm asking you this. In Minecraft, combining four gold ingots with one redstone creates a... What? Answer at the end of the show. Mm, so many crafting recipes and only so much brain space. Mm, I believe Goose is over there crafting up some news headlines for us. Oh. Take it away, Goose. Oh. Oh. Thanks guys, Goose here with all the Spawn Point news. YouTube sensation and Let's Player Felix Kilberg, also known as PewDiePie, has revealed he's making a TV show. PewDiePie has made a name for himself as the most viewed person on YouTube, and it was recently revealed his videos earned him over 10 million Australian dollars in 2014 alone. Few details have been revealed about what his TV show will actually be about, but it appears to feature him wandering around Los Angeles for a bit. Students at the University of Tokyo have developed a robot hand that is impossible to beat at Scissors Paper Rock. The robot has super speedy fingers which work with a high speed camera system. The camera is able to see what move you're throwing and move its fingers to the appropriate counter move almost instantly, making it obviously much faster than human reflexes and as a result completely unbeatable. But if you ask me, that's just robotic cheating. Well that's the news for this week, back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Goose. Tearaway was a beautiful game by developer Media Molecule made especially for the PlayStation Vita. It used all of the portable platform's various touch-sensitive surfaces and gyroscope to make the experience truly unique. Now the game has been repurposed for the PS4, and although the story and essence of the game remain the same, there are some obvious changes to the way you play on the big console. Tear it away! <laughs> Once again, you take control of a little papercraft messenger. There are two to choose between. In this papery world, you'll bounce, ride, and platform your way through this magical, colourful landscape, meeting loads of colourful characters along the way. It's a twa! Your objective, carry a message to the big light in the sky. Now, this is the first difference that I noticed. There's a front-facing camera on the Vita, so when I first played this game on that console, it put my face in the game as the character I had to deliver the message to. And I thought that was really cool, but I don't have an eye camera for my PS4, so this time there was just a big blank hole in the sky. I mean, that was kind of disappointing. Indeed, Hex. I was worried that the game would have to make some pretty big concessions in order to port it to the PS4. Uh, remember all the cool drawing and craft work we did with the Vita's touchscreen? too, but once I got into this, I found they've actually done a really good job of shuffling the elements around. First of all, the light on the back of the PS4 controller is used as one of your tools within the game, a big flashlight. And the controller has a gyroscope too, so those elements translated really well. You use your light to shine in the world and bring paper items to life, instead of tapping on them like you did in the Vita version. Affirmative. And instead of drawing items on the touch screen, you draw them on the touch pad of the controller. Yeah, I mean, it is slightly more fiddly because it's a much smaller surface, but it works. I was so glad that mechanic stayed in there. Creating my own shapes and seeing them appear in the game was definitely one of my favourite mechanics. Yes, I love seeing my butterflies flittering around the screen. Yeah, so my storm clouds filling up the sky. Yes! Now blow, breeze and blast! 
realized the more I wandered through this papercraft world, the more that I felt like this was a more organic experience on a regular console than when I played it on the Vita. Using the touchpad to activate the drum skins was much easier using a normal controller. I definitely found myself making my way through the game at a swifter pace because the controller is more organic, you're right. But I can't help but feel that part of Tearaway's charm is how cleverly it was created for the Vita. Mm. Personally, I found the combat to be a little awkward in both versions of the game. Uh, not that there is much combat to speak of, but these little box scraps are pesky and must be dealt with. Yeah, some of those little fights are pretty straightforward once you get the hang of them, but it's not immediately clear how you're supposed to deal with the scraps each time. My instinct was to jump on them, but there's generally a specific way you need to defeat them with each encounter. You use light, wind, or squishy drums. It's always different. Yeah, which is a good thing. I mean, we like variety. Affirmative. Uh, the game has a strong focus on art and design, being a craft-based world. I feel that older spawnlings may find the visual focus and the way in which the game guides you through the world a little restrictive. I see what you mean, Darren, but it's also so charming and polished with such unique controls and ideas that a gamer of any age will enjoy this. So how do you think Tearaway fares in the PS4? You know what, Hex, I had more fun with this the second time around, playing on a big console. I felt like I had more freedom, and I love the way they've used all the controller's functions. I don't think they've lost a thing moving to the PS4. In fact, I think I prefer it. Guys, it's hard to fault this game. I'm giving it five out of five rubber chickens. I agree. This is the best possible port they could have achieved coming from such a specific portable device. I do think it shines its brightest on the Vita, but honestly, this is such a wonderful game. I'd play it anywhere. I'm giving it four out of five rubber chickens. Now, you two, I did promise to show you my amazing origami skills, so come with me. Exciting. Mm. I'm going to make a boat. Wow, Darren, so this is your origami. Oh, mysterious East, where paper comes alive through imagination. Oh. How do you make it, Darren? Oh, it's like a little frog. Oh. By folding with care, we can transform the parchment and make dreams come true. Oh, OK. Oh. Oh. Um, <gasps> all right, let's have a go, I guess. <laughs> Rectangle. Darren, this is really hard. Yeah, how do we do it? I will now show you. A creature of myth appears for the pure of heart. His tears grant wishes. Oh, Darren, that's amazing. Show me how you made that. Oh, your folding must cease, for you are now needed at the Arsport Point desk. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can I just do this? Negative. OK, Barjo, let's get to these questions. And first up, we have this one from Zach, who is in Minecraft land, which is in Queensland. Hi, my name is Zach. I really like your show and all the games you show us and helpful tips. Barjo, you're my favourite. Hex is cool too, but Barjo, could you please answer my question? I'm stuck at home on crutches at the moment with a sprained ankle and need to amuse myself. I am wanting to know if PS3 Minecraft has horses and how to get them. I have looked everywhere and am not sure if we can get them. Thank you. Wah! Sorry to hear you've sprained your ankle there, Zach. Yeah, rest up and hopefully you'll get well soon. Indeed, but we're happy to say that yes, you can get horses on the console versions of Minecraft. Yeah, but they only ever spawn into either the plains or the savanna biome. So if you just wander around those biomes for a while, then you're surely to find some horses eventually. Just don't waste your time wandering around deserts or jungles or any other biomes since you won't find them there. Mm, they are horse-free. If you do want to actually tame a horse, though, there are a few ways, but the easiest way is to just keep trying to ride it with an empty hand. Chances are it will just buck you off the first few times, but every time you try, the chance of successfully taming it gets higher, so just keep on trying. Mm. Eventually you'll see hearts coming off the horses, and there you have it, a tame horse. <laughs> now, you will also probably want a 
saddle, since while you can ride a horse without one, you won't be able to control it. Mm, sadly, you can't craft saddles, though, so you'll need to find them as loot. There's a pretty good chance you'll find them in a chest, especially in the nether fortresses and dungeons. Or, if you're patient, you might have a small chance of fishing one out of the water, and you could also buy them from some villagers. Well, good luck with getting yourself a horsey, Zach, but let's move on to this one from King of 2DS, who is in Bajo's brain. <laughs> In Queensland. Wait, my brain is in Queensland? Yeah. What's it doing there? <laughs> What's in your head if your What's brain in is here in now? Queensland? Ah, uh, connected with Wi-Fi probably. Long distance brain Wi-Fi. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I installed that a few weeks ago. Yeah. I have two questions. One, can a amiibo be put on a 2DS yet? Two, will Xbox One receive the time to have on from Xbox 360 games yet? Banjo, do these. The Majesty out. Well, Your Highness, no, you can't put Amiibos on the 2DS or the old 3DS yet. But you will be able to very soon. Yes, next Saturday, in fact, is when the little wireless Amiibo scanner will be available for sale. So if you get yourself one of those, then you'll be able to use your Amiibos on the go. And I'm guessing you mean when will Xbox get backwards compatibility? And that feature will be available in the November monthly update. Mm. They're also launching a new redesigned dashboard with that update. So when you see your dashboard change, you'll be able to play a selection of just over 100 360 games. Yeah, and they'll be adding more games to the compatibility list as time goes on as well. And while we're on the topic of backwards compatibility, let's move on to this one from The Bros, who is in Brisbane, Queensland. What's up, bros? Hey, guys, I was wondering if you know if PS4 with Get the PS3 games, because at E3 they said Xbox is getting Xbox 360 games. And also, do you think ever Crash Bandicoot will come to next gen or old gen because that game was the best? Well, Mr. Bros, it doesn't seem like the PS4 will be getting backwards compatibility with PS3 games. The last time we heard about it from the boss of PlayStation, Shuhai Yoshida, he said, and I quote, I don't think we will change our approach. The PlayStation 4 doesn't have backward compatibility. But as we often say with these things, anything is possible, so it could happen one day. And actually, he did say in the same interview, and I quote, I won't say we will never do it, but it's not an easy thing to do. Yeah, so it could happen, but it probably won't. Although, if they ever launch their game streaming service, PlayStation Now, here in Australia, then that will offer a way to play PS3 games on your PS4, but we haven't heard any concrete plans for when or if that service will release here. As for a new Crash Bandicoot, well, we've said it before, but there sadly hasn't been any news on a Crash Bandicoot re-release, remake or sequel for a while. So there's nothing to report on that front, unfortunately. Although the original Crash Bandicoot is available to download for PS3. Mm, indeed it is, but let's move right along now to this one from Zoe, who is in Mercy Hospital, fake, in Victoria. <laughs> Has Darren ever drank from the Noob Cup? And what platform is Kingdom Hearts 3 if it's out? Please answer, Zoe. Well, firstly, Zoe, Kingdom Hearts 3 is not out, and so you won't find it on any platforms at the moment. But when it does come out, whenever that may be, it will be available on the PS4 and Xbox One. As for if Darren has drunk from the Noob Cup, well, yes, he has quite a few times, actually, Zoe. Mm. He hasn't always been able to talk his way out of it. No, it, it does always make him robo-spew all over the place, so I think he's a bit allergic to noobiness in general. Yeah, I kind of don't mind it when he does talk his way out of it because we can avoid all that robo-spew unpleasantness. Yeah, yeah, at least we have Goose to clean it all up for us. Yeah, he's so good at cleaning up the spew. Oh, hi, Goose. Hi, Goose. Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, thanks for doing this. I hope you weren't busy. Well, I had games to play, guys. Oh, it's oh, everywhere. We totally help you, but we're just so tired from all the games. I know, it's just, it's, it's, oh, it's, oh, oh, But anyway, we may just have another robo spew on our hands because this next letter from Ryan in Serena, Queensland has accused Darren of Newbury. Ba -ba -ba! Da -da -da. Ba -da -da. Darren is a noob because in one of your episodes, Darren got to answer a question which was, 
Will Game Freak keep on making Pokemon remixes? And Darren answered, we don't know yet, but they haven't remade the Black and White series, but they have. They have made Black 2 and White 2 Noob Cup time. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, in trouble now. Hello. Hi, Darren, it's Banjo and Hex here. Hi. Hi, Hi Rocky Osborne from Hello. Darren, it's time to drink from the Noob Cup, buddy. Oh, that seems highly unlikely. Well, Ryan here says that you were wrong when you said they hadn't remade Pokemon Black and White because they have made Black and White 2. Hmm, well, I don't see how that would make me wrong. Black and White 2 is a sequel, not a remake. Oh, that is true, Bajo. Sequels and remakes are completely different. A sequel is a brand new game in the same series, but a remake just enhances an older game in some way. Affirmative. It would be like if someone called The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask a remake of Ocarina of Time. It's a completely different game and would be classified as a sequel, not a remake. Uh, however, the recently released 3DS versions of Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask would definitely classify as remakes since they're just updated versions of the original Nintendo 64 versions. Oh, I guess that's true, Darren. No Noob Cup for you today. You're lucky. You oh. got out of it this time, mate. I thought not. Now, if you don't mind, I have very important things to get back to, like my Zen origami. Oh, sayonara. Bye. But on that note, we're out of time for this week, but if you'd like to ask us something, then you can go here and send it in. Back to the studio, Hex. Let's do it. Let's do it. The Mario games have long been considered the gold standard for platformers because of their ingenious design, which is why it's so exciting that Nintendo are now giving us the tools to create our own versions in Super Mario Maker. Mamma mia! Let's go! We've seen many build your own level games before, but what sets Super Mario Maker apart is just how easy it is to use. Forget about being bogged down with boring tutorials, I was able to build and play levels within minutes. Let's go! And I think this is because Nintendo have put just as much effort into the building tools as they normally do with the gameplay. Affirmative. I found the best way to get started was to take the 10 Mario Challenge. Uh, you're given 10 lives to beat 8 mini levels. Each one is a reworking of familiar Mario themes, and as you complete them, they're added to the template levels, which you can then edit yourself. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point, Darren. Those challenges helped kickstart some fresh ideas for me, but we should talk about how the level building works. It's all done on the gamepad as you drag and drop the enemies and items you want into your level. Ah, uh, I think you're forgetting the game's best bit, Hex. The cat paws. Oh, yes, they were so cute. As you're building on the gamepad, the picture on the TV replaces your stylus movements with adorable things like cat paws. Bajo, I wish all games had this. <laughs> Although kitty paws are great, I think robot pasta scoop hands are just as adorable. <laughs> oh, don't you think? Uh, maybe in the sequel, Darren. <laughs> oh, well, I did like how intuitively the game enables customization. Uh, want to change the direction of a flame obstacle? Just tap it. And to make an enemy bigger, simply drag a mushroom over it. Then, if you change your mind, just shake that mushroom out and watch them shrink. Another thing the game does really well is it makes use of all of the most popular Mario platformers. And not only can you pull in props from a variety of games, but you can instantly skin your level from four different Mario games, going all the way from classic NES to the current Wii U. Brilliant. Yeah, it's so clever and it sort of turns the game into an interactive museum of Mario. Plus, you can even change the location of your level instantly and go from Bowser's lava-filled castle to an underwater layout without having to rebuild a single thing. The devs have just made it really easy. Oh, affirmative. The entire game reminds me of a robot's efficiency, uh, especially the way you can flick between building and playing instantly. Uh, this way, you can see how fresh constructions play and then switch back and tinker with the building as needed. All right, you two, now that we've covered the basics, it's time to put your building skills to the test and see who has built the best level. To the games room! Let's do it! <laughs> All right, Hex, are you ready to play my level? It's probably going to be super easy. Yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll knock through it in no time. Yeah. Good luck. All right, let's go. Okay, so... <laughs> oh, my God. 
my gosh. Whoa, okay, I got a mushroom. It's all good. This is gonna be great. Go! Go, Cloudy, go! Go! Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> so frustrating. <laughs> How about I do this? <laughs> um, what is it? Is it cheating? It is in the game, I guess. <laughs> I win! <laughs> well done. All right, do you want to play my level? I do. I guarantee you it is harder than that. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. All right, Hex. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Pretty easy. Uh, yeah. What's that? A bit of firepower. Bit of firepower. Yeah. Kill yeah, those guys. Yeah, I got this. I got this. I'm just gonna walk. Let's just take it nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, hey. oh so many free coins. What does that spell? Bajo. Uh, is it. Oh, it's Bajo! Hey! Hey, Bajo. <laughs> it is. Oh, there's more. Hey, I can oh. see where this is going. <laughs> no, and maybe, maybe oh. it's. Maybe it's just Bajo is a no. We can just go back the other way. No, I'm pretty sure it's spelled. The whole world, word spells Bajo is a uh, noob. There you go. Plus an. Oh no! Oh no! What's all this? That's mad. Go, 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 go! I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna do it! Oh yeah, no big deal. No big deal. Ah! No big deal. I got this. Oh yes! Boss fight complete. Yeah, thanks very much. See, good job, Bajo. Thank you. You have to take the damage to get the reward. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Wise words. Mm. Shall we go back to studio? Yeah, let's do it. Congratulations to the both of you. You built some impressively fiendish levels. I'm, I'm calling it a tie and honoring you both with Darren's outstanding achievement in the field of excellent level building award. Oh. Thanks, Darren. Yeah, this is awesome. Uh, Darren, as much as I appreciate the certificate, which I do, do you think it's fair that Hex gets one? Because, I mean, I was the only one who really actually completed a level, technically, so... Hey. Uh, the judge's decision is final. Uh, I, I mean, if you don't want that certificate, Barjo, I could take it back. Oh, 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 no, I never said that, Darren. No, that's, that's what that's I fine. thought. Anyway, it's time to wrap up the review, you two. Right. Well, yes, I was expecting this to be pretty fun, but it turned out to be a lot of fun. I had a great time with this. It's never been as fast and exciting to build levels before. Yeah, and even if you aren't interested in building anything yourself, there's still heaps of challenges to play through. And there are already thousands of levels created by the community that you can enjoy. Well, Nintendo have built a near-perfect 2D level builder, and I think it will inspire many budding level designers out there. The only thing more I want from this game is to be able to do it in 3D. I'm giving it four and a half out of five rubber chickens. Yeah, I agree. This is a must-play for any fans of platformers or game design, and it's given me a whole lot more appreciation for how much work Nintendo has put into the Mario games over the years. I'm giving it four and a half out of five rubber chickens as well. <laughs> Darren, hey Darren, do you think they'll ever build a Sonic 2D level builder? <laughs> Negative Bajo. That would be cool though. Uh, they won't do it. I'd like it. They won't do it. Well, we're just about out of time for this week, but Darren, please, the answer to your challenge. Affirmative. At the start of the show, I asked you this. In Minecraft, combining four gold ingots with one redstone creates a what? And the answer is... A clock. Ah, yes, very handy to keep an eye on that encroaching sunset. Mm. Next week on the show, we burn dust and eat rubber while pushing the line in Forza 6. Vroom. Mm. Bajo, I think it's the other way around. We burn rubber and then they'll eat our dust. Do we still get to push the line? <laughs> Always. Until next time, may all your games be good ones. Hex out. Bajo out. Darren out. See, the rubber is our tyres, so we want to burn that, not eat it. Who's going to burn all the dust then? <sighs> Bajo, you do know what a metaphor is, don't you? Oh, I've heard of something like it before, Darren. Uh, 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 see what you did there. Smart. What? Okay.